Yesterday I talked about getting started with the literature. So basically starting with the most influential papers in the field because that gives you a foundation for understanding all of the incremental work that follows on from those things. So if you understand the basic principles of that groundbreaking research, what they did, why they did it that way, why it was so influential, then you understand why, okay, in response to this, these other people did these like little more specific incremental things, which perhaps had less impact, but could be just as interesting. So obviously you have to then go into that um, much wider realm of less influential papers. And the mistake that a lot of people make is trying to have a process for reading one paper, taking some notes, move on to the next paper, and then somehow turning those notes into a literature review. The key thing you need to know is that you will probably read certain papers several times, and maybe the first time you read it, it's not immediately obvious why it's important or whether it's important. Different papers will be useful to you at different times. So you can't just treat it as like a production line where this one is done. It's an iterative cycle where you go through things several times. So you might download a bunch of papers, you read through, you identify a few which are really important, and then others seem, you know, okay, that's not that interesting at the moment. But maybe later on, when you're ready for it, that paper will actually be, actually be useful. So maybe you need to go through a process of understanding something or doing your own research until you're ready for certain other papers. Other papers, you might initially think they're really important and then later on you realize actually that's not, not such a big deal. So there is, there is this iterative process. Do not treat it as, okay, I have to read each of these things once. Now, because there are so many papers and you have to sometimes read them several times, what you have to get good at is filtering and deciding what is worthy of your attention right now. So when you have a bunch of search results, you've got to go through fairly fast and decide, okay, these ones look really important. I'll spend time on these. These other ones maybe I'll come back to later on. And it's this constant process of filtering. And by doing it that way, gradually you build up a mental picture of what is happening in the field. You know more or less what is happening. You've got that understanding rather than a big stack of notes. Notes are not understanding. That's another mistake that people make. But you have this base of understanding. Then when you start writing the literature review, you know more or less what you're going to talk about. And then you can go back to the literature again and fill in a few gaps and find a few, find a few um, specific details. So it is an iterative process which you'll go through multiple times.